Hi, Marion Landry, Technical Marketing Manager at Autodesk. In this small tips and tricks, I want to show you how you can save your ray trace rendering settings to reuse them for rendering an animation or to render another image with the same quality settings. When using ray tracing modes and rendering an image, most of the time, I'm sure what you do is that you turn on your ray trace mode and you let the image render until a time that you're satisfied with the look of your image. Probably that's it reach a point where there's no more granular effect on the image and that it gives you a high quality enough render. And what you do from there is you go ahead and save your image to disk and that gives you a complete render. Now, what would happen if, for example, you change the angle of camera or change the material of your object or change certain property of your scene and would want to render the same image with the same ray trace quality settings that you had previously reached? Well, that is possible by using the HTML file that was saved when you save the ray traced image that you see at the screen right now. So basically, the only thing you need to do is to use this HTML file that was saved with your render and place it under your document, Autodesk Showcase 2013, open the interactive ray tracing settings and copy the HTML file right in there. That will make this preset available to the ray tracing menu. So let's go back to Showcase. And let's open the ray tracing control panel, click on settings, and you'll notice here that under the quality preset, you now have access to the car ray tracing final settings that we used to save the last ray trace rendering. Now it's possible to load this ray tracing setting and use it to render your car interactively. Or you can use it to publish an image or a video. Now, if you publish a video with this setting, that implies that each image will use this rendering setting to render each images that will be part of your video. So let's have a look at how we can publish an image while using this setting. First thing you'll notice is that the ray tracing properties are grayed out and that is because I am not in ray tracing mode in my viewport. So in order to have access to the ray tracing rendering, I need to be under the ray tracing mode. And once I have that, I can load my settings and just basically save my image. And I know that the image will be rendered using the XML rendering setting that have been saved from the previous image. So both of these image will be rendered at the same quality level using the same amount of render level in ray tracing mode. So once this image is complete, it's gonna load in my window and show me the ray traced render uh, final, which is using the exact same presets that was used to render the previous uh, rendering. So that's a nice tip to keep in mind if you are planning on rendering multiple images and you all want them to be rendered with the same quality level or if you're planning to render an animation using ray tracing.